All right, so we're going to show you the tubular jaw and how to use it. So first of all, we're going to make sure our settings are updated. In your software, when the software is connected to the machine and you have motion board detected, we're going to go to File, Setup, and under Jaw 1 Tracer, on the Calibration X1, whatever you have there, change it to 1400. You can pause the video if you need to do this part. 1400, change calibration X2 to 1400 as well, and then hit master update. It'll probably take a moment to update, and you'll press OK, and then file exit. Once that's done, we'll go over here, and you'll take your old jaw off by, uns make sure the tip and shoulder stop for the jaw two out of the way, and unscrew the red T-knob, and slide the jaw off and at that point you can slide your tubular jaw on but before we do that we're going to install our tubular tracer and tubular cutter so to install the cutter you hold down the spindle stop button and unscrew the red knob at the top red knob at the top <laughs> Call it. And this is our new tubular cutter. It's bigger in diameter and it has four flutes on it. Looks kind of like an X. Put that in there. Spindle stop button and tighten the red knob at the top until it's firm. And then for the tracer, it'll take the Allen wrench and take the screw out and then you'll have your tracer. Now it's important that you put the tracer up to where half an inch is sticking out or under. Actually probably best would be right under half an inch. So here we got our caliper that's half an inch. We'll make a measurement here. Best thing to do would be to make a measurement and then to put a little mark there. See, I have a little black mark there on my tracer tip. And so right now I have that mark at right at half an inch. I'm going to put it up right a little bit past that mark to where it's just under half an inch sticking out. Loosen the screw a little bit more. So I'm going to make my mark disappear. So that's just under half an inch, probably 0.475 inches is what that's going to be. <clears throat> All right. All right, after we've installed that tracer, we're going to calibrate the tracer for jaw one. So slide your jaw back on, lock it down. Make sure that your tip and shoulder stops are down. Yeah, so I would, you talk, you and then talk, go to operations, operations calibrate tracer in your software, but it tells you the year type you one, know. and press OK. You're welcome, Joe. Then in your software you'll it'll say updating and then you'll press OK. And we'll take the jaw back off. And then we've got our tubular jaw here that will slide onto the table. And then lock it down with the red T-knob. And we're ready to go. So first of all, we'll open up the jaw. This has kind of like a hinge thing going on here where it sits like that. So you just open that up. And we're gonna go ahead and duplicate uh, a tibby, I mean a tubular key here. So the notch goes to the back into this little cutout here in the back. So just hold that up against that, bring this down, and start tightening the red knob. Make sure the notch goes into that recess there. 
and now we're ready to start tracing. Let's go select the key in our software here. This is the most common Chicago style key. So to select the key, we'll go to Type Manufacturer. And from the drop down, we'll go down to the T's where it says tubular. You'll see we have several options here. This is really the most common one. You'll probably always use the Chicago one. And then you'll select the key blank there and that'll bring the key up and you'll see the diagram there. And so now we're ready to hit trace. So I'm gonna hit trace and this is gonna trace now. <clears throat> That's what it should look like when it does it and then it should hit the top and then I'll go down and trace it out. And then you'll see the readings over here on the screen. So that was a two, uh, I mean a three, two, seven, three, three, six, seven. All right, so we're going to cut that now on a blank. So we're gonna take this out. And we're gonna take a blank. Put it right back in there, same way. Make sure your tracer's flipped up. And then all you gotta do is come over here and hit the start button. And this is what it will do. It'll, add, it'll tell you to make sure you have the cutter four in there. So this is gonna be the cutter four. take that out. If you want to clean it up at all then you can go over here and hit the brush button and that'll turn the brush on. You kind of brush it off a little. Make it look nice. And then here we have our duplicated key. And that's all there is to it. And then make sure that you have the latest version of software before you go trying to do this or else it's not going to work. The version of software you need to have is, and you can find this out by going to help and then about and it'll say 5.38.8 or higher will do this, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs>